Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you have ever wanted to see an anime related to gangs and hip-hop, well, this is definitely the right video to watch, because today we're going to be looking at the world of hip-hop and gangs as depicted by anime. At the start of our list, at number 10, we have Akira. If you have seen this anime, you're probably thinking that it doesn't belong in this list. Akira is a movie about a boy with psychic powers, set in Japan in 1988, where an explosion in Tokyo leads to World War III. The story picks up again in 2019, when we follow the main character in a biker gang. Why is this related to hip-hop? Well, even though there are not any scenes directly related to it, hip-hop originally came out around the 1970s in New York and specifically has a lot of ties to the gangs of that time. Seeing as the anime starts off this list, I thought it would be a good idea to start off with something that connects with the start of hip-hop in general. Next up in number 9, we have Michiko and Hachin. Again, going back to the origin of hip-hop from the gangs, this anime shows the life of a criminal by the name of Michiko Malandro. She is on a manhunt for a man from her past, and this news eventually gets to the ears of a criminal syndicate. And this leads to, as anticipated, a lot of gang violence. Classified as an action and adventure anime, it was first released in October of 2008 and is 22 episodes long. At number 8, we have Tokyo Tribe 2. Before you all ask, no, there is no Tokyo Tribe 1. But this anime is also known as either Tokyo Tribes or Tokyo Tribe 2. I'm sure you're seeing a trend now, but we're still looking at the gang aspect of the origin of hip-hop. Looking at different clans constantly at war with each other. This anime is relatively old, first being released in November of 2006, and falling into categories like action and drama. Next up at number 7, we have Tonkatsu DJ Agetaro. Moving on to the actual music side of things, we follow the main character Agetaro, who is by chance exposed to the world of DJs and nightclubs. He goes through the anime, developing his DJ skills as well as his already good cooking skills, and aspires to master both aspects of his life. He tries to forge his own path for his life, while still carrying responsibilities for his family. Originally released in April of 2016, this anime is a comedy generally aimed at younger audiences. Up at number 6, we have Great Pretender. Moving upwards from the gangs and violence they bring, we look to a different class of crime. In this anime, we start looking at the artistry of scams and cons. The main character, named Edamame, goes through his life scamming people to get money, although it takes a rather unfortunate turn when he is scammed himself. He tries to maintain his reputation by challenging his rival to see who the better scammer is. However, their target is definitely not someone you want to mess around with. This anime was released in June of 2020, this year, 
and it is still currently airing. And it is filled with action, comedy, and mystery. Next to number five, we have Zombie Land Saga. This anime follows Sakura Minamoto, who has always dreamed of becoming a famous idol. This, however, seems very far out of reach when she abruptly dies. Does she stay dead, though? Of course not. She is resurrected as a zombie, with no recollection of her past life. However, she is partnered with other zombie girls to form an idol group, eventually named Fran Chocho. Compared to the previously mentioned anime on this list, there is an actual scene with a rap battle in episode 2, which is literally named I Love Hip Hop. If this doesn't qualify Zombieland Saga for a position on this list, then I don't know what else to say. And number 4, we have Afro Samurai. This is a story about a boy named Afro who witnesses his father's murder and trains and fights to become the greatest samurai. After he becomes the second greatest samurai, he is allowed to challenge number one. This, however, doesn't stop everyone else from challenging him, number two. Although this anime has a great plot, that isn't exactly what puts it on this list. The soundtrack of this anime is basically a mix of hip-hop with Japanese pop music. And if you haven't listened to it, I would highly recommend you do. Next to number 3, we have Devilman Crybaby. The story of this anime basically follows the main character as he finds himself merged with a demon, granting him the body of a demon and powers that allow him to fight other demons. However, he has always been a bit of a crybaby and is very sympathetic in a lot of situations. But you're not here to hear about the plot. This anime is, like you probably guessed, filled with hip-hop scenes. Although there is only 10 episodes that started airing in January of 2018, this anime has a few hip-hop references that I'm sure viewers would have picked up on. At number 2, we have Megalo Box. This anime is based on boxing. The main character, Joe, used to throw matches even though he had tech known as gear to enhance his fighting abilities. But all that changes when he is filled with determination to defeat the current champion of the boxing tournament known as Megalonia. Once again, it is the soundtrack that has landed this anime in a spot, and the hip-hop soundtrack combined with the violence and roughness of this anime creates an amazing atmosphere which puts it into categories like action, drama, and sci-fi. Finally, at the number one spot, we have Samurai Champloo. This anime is by far one of the best anime in terms of incorporating hip-hop culture with one of the most recognizable icons of Japan, the Samurai. The story is set in what is known as the Edo period of Japan from 1603 to about the 1870s. And beyond the music being reminiscent of the hip-hop culture, the mannerisms of the characters, their outfits, and even the fighting styles all refer to the culture of hip-hop. The first episode was released in May of 2004 and is definitely an amazing anime.
And with that, we have once again reached the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos about awesome anime. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.